Hi, this is JD and I am here with Joy Stock. Today's video is about the next normal post COVID and beyond. Trust you will enjoy being with me. The next normal is the trends that will define 2021 and beyond. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the world and its effects will last. Business have spent much of the past 18 months scrambling to adapt to extraordinary circumstances. 2021 is the year of transition, barring any unexpected catastrophes, individuals, businesses and society can start to look forward to shaping their future rather than just grinding through the present. The next normal is different from conditions that prevailed in 2019. Indeed, just as the term pre-war and post-war are commonly used to describe the 20th century, generations to come will discuss the pre-COVID-19 and post-COVID-19 eras. We are almost at the end point of 2021. Last couple of years reminds us of every apocalypse movie we have ever seen. And there is so much we still do not know. Can the world get over this pandemic? Is the new normal here to stay? There are so many questions yet very few answers. The coronavirus outbreak has impacted our personal and professional lives. Many are still trying to navigate through their unfolding business complexities related to the people, supply chain, financial health, customer engagement and risk management. Digital transformation is a business trend that has gained immense popularity. COVID-19 has forced organizations across the globe to take radical steps towards adopting technological advancements to secure their business. All industries ranging from retail, healthcare, hospitality and education will need to transform their business models to remain viable. It is imperative for companies to reconfigure their operations and an opportunity to transform them to the extent that they do so, greater productivity will follow. Digitally enabled productivity gains accelerate the much talked about fourth industrial revolution. A huge chunk of global business is encouraging their employees to work from home. Even post COVID, therefore, a business trend that one can expect in the coming months is for enterprises to adopt different digital tools to manage their operations smoothly. A recent Gartner poll showed that 48% of employees will likely work remotely at least part of the time after COVID-19 versus 30% before the pandemic. The workplace will no longer be simply an office where people come to each day and leave to go home each night. Increasingly, workplaces will become collaboration hubs to achieve common objectives. Compared to just providing a place for people to work. With the changing landscape of business operations, the cost of commercial real estate will fall to coincide with a reduced demand. Once more, remote work becomes more of the norm. The need for corporate complexes diminishes but will open new ways of utilization, whether it is a space sharing event or a collaboration venue. Gartner analysis shows that organizations will continue to expand their use of contingent workers to maintain more flexibility in workforce management post-COVID-19. 
COVID-19 has accelerated the disruption of many industries that many pundits have been predicting for years. Almost all industries, including airlines, retail, hospitality, healthcare, education, construction, and technology, will require rapid transformation to their business models to remain viable. New business models and value chains will significantly increase a need for new skills. Now, employers are realizing that there is another category of critical roles. Roles that are critical to the success of essential workflows and it is necessary to provide employees with varied, adaptive and flexible roles so they acquire cross-functional knowledge and training. The pandemic has increased the trend of employers playing an expanded role in their employees' financial, physical and mental well-being. And this crisis has highlighted the interconnectedness of business and society too. Gartner analysis shows that 16% of employers are using technologies more frequently to monitor their employees through methods such as virtual clocking in and out, tracking work computer usage, and monitoring employee email or internal communications or chats. While some companies track productivity, others monitor employee engagement and well-being to better understand employee experience. Post-COVID-19, employees and prospective candidates will judge organizations by the way in which they treated employees during the pandemic. A new form of globalization that recognizes interdependence and the good of humanity based on collective actions of countries, businesses and people will start to emerge. As a result, companies will change their governance and business management models with greater focus on corporate social responsibility and the well-being of people. Top performers will not sit on their strengths. That is why we expect to see substantial portfolio adjustments as companies with healthy balance sheets seek opportunities. Companies will focus on expanding their geographic diversification and investment in secondary markets to migrate and manage risk in times of disruption. Disruptions create space for entrepreneurs and that is what is happening in the United States but also in other major economies. There is a veritable flood of new small businesses in the third quarter of 2020 alone, there were more than 1.5 million new business applications in the United States, almost double the figure for the same period in 2019. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the modernization and digitization of the education industry as it has forced education institution across the globe to switch over to the online platform. There is no doubt that the COVID-19 pandemic has exposed major gaps in the healthcare system across the globe, including some of the most advanced nations in the world, such as United States, France and the United Kingdom. Apart from the industry reforms, businesses will also have to go the extra mile to concentrate on the health of their employees. An upgrade of public health infrastructure 
and the modernization of healthcare system, including the wider use of telemedicine and virtual health, are areas to address. The experience of all previous economic downturns has proved that as consumer confidence returns, so will spending, with revenge shopping sweeping through sectors as pent-up demand is unleashed. One difference, however, is that services have been particularly hard hit this time. In 9 of 13 major country surveys, at least two-thirds of consumers say they have tried new kinds of shopping. And in all 13 major countries, 65% or more say they intend to continue to do so. The disruption created by COVID-19 was unlike anything the new world had ever seen. Nobody was prepared for the world's second largest economy, China, to go completely off the grid and shut down every one of its external logistic connections. So, the great rebalancing has already begun. As much as quarter of global goods exports or US dollar 4.5 trillion could shift by 2025. Exploration of new ways to engaging with customers, manage inventories, optimize production and distribution, logistics management and managing cash or capital will also open. In 2018, business travel spending reached US dollar 1.4 trillion, which was more than 20% of the total spending in the hospitality and travel sector during and after the pandemic, though there is a question about business travel and the sage sector in particular. The scale of the fiscal response to the COVID-19 crisis was unprecedented and three times bigger than the seen for 2008-2009 financial crisis. In the G20 alone, fiscal packages are estimated at more than US dollar 10 trillion. Few question the humanitarian and economic cases for strong action. But even in an era of low interest rates, the reckoning could be painful. In March 2020, most of the world argued that the COVID-19 crisis could be the imperative of our time. Few months down, it was being noted that it could bring a dramatic restructuring of the economic and social order. We stand by those assertions. The COVID-19 pandemic has been an economic and human catastrophe and it is far from over. But with the current rate of vaccination in most parts of the world, it is possible to be cautiously optimistic that the next normal will emerge soon. And we believe that in some ways, the normal could be better with good leadership from both business and governments. The changes we described in productivity, green growth, medical innovation and resilience could provide an enduring foundation for the long term. That is all for today. Do subscribe, share and be with me for my forthcoming bi-weekly videos. I will keep coming with knowledge-based, interesting videos. Please do not forget to put in your valuable thoughts and comments. Thank you. Goodbye for now. See you in my next episode.